Flaxseed really is an amazing food for healthy aging and living longer. That little brown seed with a hard crust on it is amazing. There are studies literally over the last 100 years, but obviously the last 20 or 30 years, which convince everybody out there you should be using it. Now, what always the question always comes up, how to use it? Well, the best way is ground up. Don't use it as it is as a hard seed. It will pass straight through you. But if you soak it or you grind it, either way, and here's a hint right from the start. 30 grams per day is what they normally use. Don't ask me what 30 grams looks like. 30 grams, measure it. 30 grams is what they use in most of the experiments. Now with kids and so on, they were using 10 grams, but 30 grams, and that gives you a lot of your fiber and lots of your other good nutrients as well. Why flaxseed is so good, it's also called linseed. So both of those, that's interchangeable. And it's it's got a great, uh, omega-3 fatty acid profile, something called ALA, I'll talk about later, high in profile, high in minerals, and it's got these great phytoestrogens, which go in there, and when you see later on in the next videos, they do amazing things for both men and women, and our overall health. But when it comes to living longer, it's really important to understand there are different measures that people use to say, yes, this does help you live longer. There's a, a, a list that goes down, there's probably 20 or 30 in total. Some of the scientists have narrowed it down to about 10 or 11. I've narrowed my down to a small list here. Here it's really simple. Inflammation, or related to aging called inflammaging, is a major cause of premature death. It's a major cause of shortening your lifespan. And it's the major link with all of the forms of chronic illness, whether it's heart attacks, strokes, cancers, you name it, chronic kidney disease, all of these conditions have chronic low level inflammation as a part of their condition, arthritis and so on. And what we find taking linseed, and again, most of the studies go for about six to 12 weeks. They show that it lowers the two major indicators, C-reactive protein, CRP, and that's what everybody should have their blood tests, ask the doctor next time for a CRP test, because that's the best indicator of level of inflammation in your body. And the next one is interleukin-6, IL-6, shows up in when you do the research and so on, as abbreviation. And these are the two best indicators of inflammation, and dozens and dozens and dozens of studies show that flaxseed lowers inflammation. The next driver of a shortened lifespan is oxidation. All those deadly free radicals, whether you're getting from outside or being produced in your cells, unless they're sopped up by the free radicals and the good, good nutrients in your body, then they contribute to a shortening of your lifespan. And of course, all of the chronic diseases like inflammation, inflammation and oxidation literally go hand in hand. They're in all of the chronic diseases. And the third one, which has really been developed as a concept in the last 10, 15 years is mitochondrial dysfunction. And if you've seen any of my videos, I'm always talking about mitochondrial dysfunction. That's the energy powerhouse of your cell. And if that's clogged up, not working properly, then oh, you're low in energy, but your organs are low in energy and your cells are low in energy, so you are actually sick and your body is deteriorating fast. And again, often linked with oxidation, inflammation and mitochondrial dysfunction. And linseed has been shown to actually improve mitochondrial dysfunction. It cleans out, it clears up the gunk in your mitochondria, something called mitophagy and autophagy in your cells, and it starts to enable your cells to work much more efficiently. And as a result, it's like a car. You're putting junk petrol in and it accumulates all the gunk, and then you put the linseed in and it cleans all the gunk out over a long period of time, and you start to get that energy back. Then you've got gut health. Gut health is overwhelmingly linked with an extended lifespan and a healthy lifespan too. And so we see that linseed because of the ALL, the, the omega-3s, the fiber, the mineral and the phytoestrogens, it works in this beautiful concept. You know, there are dozens of chemicals in nutrients and chemicals in linseed that work to actually help develop a healthy gut and fix up lots of gut related issues. Not, not even mentioning things like constipation because it has such a good mix of fibers too. So gut health overwhelmingly. And don't worry, there's lots of more detailed videos on these topics down the line. And so we've got reduced chronic illness. Now this one is a big one and most people don't think about it, but 
the healthier the people are the ones who have the lowest rates of these forms of chronic illness, whether it's high blood pressure, having a stroke, heart attack, blocked arteries, elevated triglycerides, uh, chronic kidney disease. All these diseases literally shorten your life. They shorten the quality of your life too, and they shorten your life. And it just very, very clearly, if I want to sum it up for you, just to show you how, how important or how fantastic flaxseed is for controlling all those chronic illnesses, I made a list of the ones that I could find very, very summarily. You know, only took me a, a couple of days to go through all the journals, hundreds of journals on here. And here are some of the benefits of flaxseed in terms of controlling chronic disease. First of all, cardiovascular disease, it lowers blood pressure by about eight millimeters of mercury. However, you've got high blood pressure, it lowers it more. You've got Jasper, it lowers it a little bit less. So the dose and the severity of the, the hypertension you have will influence how long, how long it lowers it. But it has this broad, broad benefit across the cardiovascular system, lowers blood pressure, lowers your risk of stroke, heart attack, and lowers cholesterol and triglycerides. And now triglycerides are the, the, the nasty fats that really are a risk factor in cardiovascular disease. And so we see linseed lowers all of these. Now they're linked with something else called metabolic syndrome or metabolic diseases. And we find that linseed is used extensively to improve insulin resistance, diabetes type two, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. A lot of people contact me and say, how do I fix non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? First thing is start eating well, start eating all the antioxidant, the anti-inflammatory, those nutrient dense foods like linseed. That's why it's so good, it's nutrient dense. And the studies show that it helps reverse non-alcoholic fatty liver. In fact, on the mice studies, where they give the mice, they've already developed non-alcoholic fatty liver, and they give the mice junk foods, e.g. the typical Western diet, Australian, New Zealand, English, American diet, what we call the SAD diet, standard American, Australian diet. Anyway, so when they give them that, and they've already got non-alcoholic fatty liver, linseed still improves the non-alcoholic fatty liver. So it doesn't just start to fix it, but it also blocks any further damage being done. Now, in your case, if you've got non-alcoholic fatty liver, I'd suggest you get off all the junk foods anyway. That's the sugar, the processed foods, the takeaways, all of those ones, and start having lots and lots of linseed, 30 grams a day. And remember the results start to show up between six and 12 weeks. Then we've got really interesting research showing that it reduces the risk of a number of cancers. In particular, the two that stand out though, are breast cancer and prostate cancer. And that's probably because of the phytoestrogens. Now, what's interesting here is 30 years ago, people were told to stay away from linseed because it increases your risk of prostate cancer and increases your risk of breast cancer. And for guys, it lowers your testosterone. Well, guess what? It does the exact opposite of those. And there was a stage where I actually went off linseed for about six months until I did the research and, 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 and just said, hold on, this is another one of these food myths that are killing people. And that's one of the videos you'll be able to link onto. I show you the food myths about flaxseed. And, and so literally it's been shown to reduce the risk of breast cancer and prostate cancer and uh, effective in the treatments, assisting in the treatments of these cancers as well. Then you've got bone health and a reduction of osteoporosis. You've got uh, arthritis, like osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Because of the anti-inflammatory, the nutrients, the phytoestrogen, they work in dozens and dozens of ways around improving these conditions. Liver, liver conditions, skin conditions, lung, and of course, weight control. So linseed, because it, although it's got a lot of calories in it, the calories help your metabolism to improve it because of the fiber in it and some of the other nutrients in it, it makes you feel fuller faster. So we've got all of these benefits all the way down. It's been shown to reduce the risk of chronic kidney disease. It helps with thyroid and women's issues like PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. If you know what that is, you probably want to watch my video on PCOS and what you can do about it because there's so many things that are easy, easy, that can make a big difference in PCOS, uh, endometriosis, and of course, menopause. And in men, 
Uh, I'll, I'll go into this a lot more detail later, but in men, it actually shows up the exact opposite, what I was told by these myth-creating people, people are on the internet, on TikTok and YouTube saying, don't have it because it's going to lower you. Well, this was a really bad study that said it might lower it. And everyone's gone, wow. All the studies now when it comes to, um, they're done on animals, but they're done on expensive animals, you know, ones that are used to breed. The, the, the rams and the goats, and these are thousand dollar animals. And all of, the, all of the animals have done a half a dozen animal species, or, and they've all shown that it actually improves testosterone, it improves fertility, and believe it or not, it improves the size of the testes. So there you go. Guys, what a win-win situation. And so you've got all of those diseases going down, all those conditions going down, all of them improving because of flaxseed. So that brings us here to the reduced chronic illness. And the final part of showing the evidence about extending lifespan and increasing your health span is when they do the studies on humans and animals and microorganisms. And these are the standard ones that they do the tests on to show that it lives longer. Now, there's not much in this area specifically in humans, none that I could find, but there was a study in 2023 of 65 to 80 year olds over a 12 week period, uh, flax seed oil. So they only use 3.7 grams. Now the oil has lots of the benefits, but I like the whole food because again, it's got more of the minerals, it's got more of the fiber. It has lots of benefits, but I like the whole thing. But in, when they use this over a 12 week period, um, it increased verbal fluency of these aging people. Now, I'm in that category already. Oh, well, my verbal fluency may increase because I'm having flaxseed virtually every day and it's a part of my smoothie. Um, then probably the best study was looking at hens ovarian cancer. So they were looking at hens and they were trying to work out it's one of the one of the human models for ovarian cancer. So they, they get these hens, they get them to develop ovarian cancer, and then they treat them in various methods. Now, in this study, they literally uh, were giving them about 10% of their diet, 10% as flaxseed. And uh, it decreased the physiological aging. So the hens looked younger and acted younger and were physically younger. It decreased the mortality by 12%. Now, that's a miracle on its own. Think about it, 12%. So that's an extra uh, uh, for humans if we translate that directly, and we can't always, but that's probably an extra eight years on our life. Wow, or nine years. Gee, that's pretty good. All I have to do is eat linseed, flaxseed. Oh, wow. And then it also increased the lifespan. Then we get on to one more study that I found. Now, this was of one of the phytoestrogens. There's three main phytoestrogens. These are the chemicals, the molecules that get in there and uh, work at different layers and levels and have an impact often on the estrogen levels. And people go, oh, no, it's going to increase or decrease. Because it works, these phytoestrogens work through the gut. The gut modulates them, literally twists them around and only uses them where they need to be, when they're wanted to be, in the way you want it. Wow, that's pretty good, isn't it? So have a think about that. It's not about increasing estrogen or decreasing, it's about setting up the gut to be able to help control estrogen levels, and that's what most people don't understand and where some of these early myths come from. So this phytoestrogen, SDG, the main one, um, was shown to extend the life of C. elegans. C. elegans is a little microscopic worm that they do all the tests on. They're the first ones they do because it's a very short-lived one and they, and they don't have to be in a laboratory for hours. They're not going to cost millions of dollars. And they found it delayed um, uh, progressive age-related diseases and it increased the lifespan. So just one ingredient from there. Now, if you look at all the ingredients, we know all of the ingredients are involved in, in increasing lifespan and health span. So, summing it up, we've got a dramatic reduction on all the chronic diseases. We've got a dramatic, well, a dramatic reduction on all of the parameters we looked at here in terms of healthy aging and living longer. All the parameters improved as a result of having flaxseed. Now, what's great is there is so much information. I'm going to be putting it in 
extended videos, part two, three, four, including one on a flaxseed myth. So when somebody says to you, don't have flaxseed because it's gonna make you shrink or it's gonna make you dumb, watch that one because it will explain to you where that poor science comes from, limited science, and what the real facts and figures are. Because something like this is, is a compilation of dozens and dozens of studies. And it takes a, a, quite a while to get it all so that you can share. Now, you've liked this, so because you're at the end of the video, make sure you click the subscribe button, tick the like button, and share it with your friends so we can help get this information out.